Hi everybody, welcome to the Fire It Up with CJ show. Today we have Sue Fredericks, who is the author of this lovely book, Bridges to Heaven. And we are going to be walking uh, through two uh, exercises. Um, but the first one that we're going to do right now is feeling and releasing pain that you may feel from um, your departed and, and the sadness that you feel. And one of the things that we said in the radio segment that we just did that you can find on my webpage on www.fireduppcj.com is we were talking that talking about how the dead can't really communicate. We can't hear them if we're in a lot of pain. And uh, part of our journey in communicating back to them is to feel and release our pain. So welcome back, Sue. Hey, CJ. Pleasure as always. So tell us what, so is it, what's the intention of this? Is it, did I get it right? Is that the intention of doing this meditation? Yeah. So I call this the break your heart wide open meditation. Mm -hmm. And that basically means that when you're grieving, one of the things that will help you is to move some of that pain out of your heart and that will help you in several ways. It helps you begin to move forward in your life, but even more importantly, it helps you to connect to your departed. Because when we're lost in our grief and our anger and our pain and our guilt and all of those juicy grief feelings that we have, which we're totally, we're, of course we need to have those to, to get through it. But we have to also be able to move lift our energy if we want to connect to the departed and get healing and guidance from them on the other side. So this meditation is a way to do that. I always felt like, well, it's kind of almost disrespectful not to feel sad and pain, right? Don't they want us to feel sad <laughs> that they're gone? You know, so many people, it's just crazy how we are guilt ridden in this world. We think that we need to suffer here or we are doing a disrespect, disservice to them. On the other side, they are in the realm of love and divine light and, and amazing energy and they're looking at us lost in our pain and it's it's disturbing them they're right. they're like why are you wallowing in that look i'm here i'm i'm awesome i'm uh, great you're the one suffering right and they they're looking at life so differently than we look at it so for example i don't even like to call them the dead because here in the physical world we're really more dead than they are yeah. they are fully conscious and alive and in the flow of love and light there. This physical world is just our school. We really simply come here to learn and evolve. Mm -hmm. And it's a brief blip. This lifetime is a tiny blip in everybody's soul journey. Mm. All right. So if we can change our perspective to they don't want us. That's our own whatever, our own story that they want us to feel pain and misery. It's, in their it's our guilt. We feel like, you know, we could have done, every person who's grieving a loved one feels there's something they could have, should have done to prevent it or stop it or change right. it. And that isn't true because it was a soul agreement we made with them. And that was a soul exit point that was preordained before the lifetime began. So... Why are we devastated by it? If right. we remember that we are higher beings, divine beings here on purpose, it brings us out of that guilt and pain. I've worked with so many grieving mothers who are paralyzed by guilt. And one mother said to me, I feel like I can't be happy or I am... Um, I am doing a disservice to my son who suffered and died at such a young age. Mm. Whereas her son was this beautiful light spirit on the other side going, mom, come on, go hiking, you know, right. just trying to get her to go. go yeah. Do so it's like fear, anger, sadness, um, guilt, shame. Those are the things that we're trying to release when we're doing right. this, this meditation. You can also be very angry. You know, I mean, mm. when you lose somebody you love, you can be angry at your definition of God or your definition yeah. of religion that you grew up with because you think there's a God in the sky who decided to take your loved one, yeah. which by the way, is not true. There is a divine loving God, but you chose this mission to evolve your own soul. You chose all the challenges of it yourself right, and you right. meant to overcome and fulfill the mission. Right. Okay. So step us through the exercise that you have in your book. 
Okay. So the first part is I tell everybody you should spend 20 minutes a day meditating and quieting the mind, whether you're grieving or not, because our, our minds fill us with worry and crazy thinking all day long, and we are not our thoughts. Right. We are a higher consciousness divine being. The only way to really remember that every day is to have a daily meditation practice. Mm -hmm. So here's what I do in the Break Your Heart Wide Open meditation. You first sit in a quiet place and try not to be leaning your head back on anything so you don't fall asleep. Close your eyes and you repeat mantra or a sacred word or a sacred prayer. I'm preferring that people use Sanskrit mantra because I feel that it's a very powerful way to raise consciousness. Mm -hmm. So you can use the word Om. I prefer the mantra Om Namah Shivaya. I'm repeating Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya quietly inside of yourself. Okay. You start doing it out loud to get the rhythm and then you do it inside. And when you hit that moment where you begin to feel the mind settle down, and sometimes that'll be right away, but if you're having a crazy day, it'll take a little longer right. where you begin to feel that settling in and you're keeping bringing your focus back on those words, Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya. When you feel you've settled into it, Take your palm, I hope you can see this, mm -hmm. and put it face up in front of your heart chakra like that, right? And ask to feel the pain that's in your heart and have it pour into the palm of your hand. And you want to visualize all of this grief that's in your heart pouring into the palm of your hand. And this is the moment to feel it as well. You can cry about it if you need to at this point, whatever it is to get that pain moved through you into the palm of your hand and then take the palm of your hand move it up and above you and say I offer this pain to be transformed into love I offer this pain to be transformed into love so let's just go through that whole process for a few minutes together okay. Okay. so we're going to close our eyes and repeat mantra starting out loud Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya. And you just breathe into that mantra, let it marinate inside of you. And when you feel the settling down of the mind, put your palm face up in front of your heart chakra. Ask to be to be allowed to feel the pain that's in your heart. And take a deep breath and feel that pain pouring through you, out of you, into your palm. You can visualize that happening energetically. And now you take your palm and you lift it away from you and move it up and say, I offer this pain to be released and transformed into love. Okay, I offer this pain to be released and transformed into love. And then you can come back to the mantra or you can also come back and hold the palm here again and again, ask to feel the pain and repeat the process. Oh, okay. And then you want to slowly bring yourself back by saying mantra a few more minutes. Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya. And then end with a feeling of gratitude, no matter what you've experienced, even if you've cried your eyes out. And just say, I am so grateful for guidance in healing and releasing this pain. And then you can open your eyes. Beautiful. So when you're when you're releasing it up in this particular way, um, who are you releasing it to? I'm always asking the guides to take this from my heart because I can't carry it any longer to take it from my heart and transform it into love. You're, you're asking them to shift it energetically for you mm. because when we're grieving we feel so overwhelmed we cannot transform that energy ourselves mm. and so if we ask for help and that's what this is about is offering it out and saying please transform this pain into love mm. we are you're never denied help from the other mm. side when you ask it in that sort of loving sincere way 
And does it feel like once you offer it, is it converted and reintegrated back into you, into love? I don't picture it that way because you don't want to mess up the energy and cause it okay. to come back into you. I just feel it moving out of me and no releasing way. and giving it away and then coming back to see if there's any more left in here that I feel I need to move away from me and offer offer mm -hmm. up. It's a beautiful process to use whether you're grieving or not. I mean, it's just a beautiful yes. process to use to just let go of whatever yes. kind of is aching your heart and just... Absolutely. Go. And it did feel like a pouring of stuff out, you know, I mean, because my dad, it, it's its anniversary of his death on um, this past Sunday. Um, so I was like, is there anything left there? And I did feel like there's some, and I've done a lot of grieving right, over time, right. but I could still feel yeah. a little bit of something and just letting it go feels, I did feel lighter. My energy felt lighter yeah. doing it. And you know, when, um, What's so interesting about that is that even if you've just had somebody break your heart in a relationship and they're still alive, mm -hmm. but they've left you, it works for that just as well. Yeah. And, and the other thing, even maybe you've lost a job or you're just grieving anything, that kind of break your heart wide open meditation helps move that pain out of you so you can begin to heal. Mm, beautiful. So we're talking to Sue Frederick, author of Bridges to Heaven, and we'll be right back um, going through the second part of uh, connecting with uh, those that have passed, or passed on. Because they're not dead, as you right. said. <laughs> Very good. All right. Bye. And tell us your website for folks that want to get to your website. They can go to bridges to heaven.com, and that's the name of the book, bridges to heaven.com, or they can just use my name, suefrederick.com. All right. Great. Thank you so much, Sue. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye.